So hands up all those that store their bedding at the back of the van, it's wedged in between the barn doors or your tailgate door and the back of your rock and roll bed when it's in the whoosh, upright position. And how many of you then go to the back of your van to get something out, open the doors and your duvet and bedding and pillows all fall on the floor? Me, I'm one of those. I've done that several times when out camping. So I decided I needed to come up with a solution and that's what today's video is about. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and in today's video as previously mentioned I'm going to be coming up with a solution for stopping all my bedding dropping out on the floor onto the muddy grass when uh, I just want to get something out the back of the van. So I came up with the cargo net idea and um, quite a few people on the forums have been talking about this so I thought I might as well do a video on it. Uh, basically all I've done is I've bought myself a cargo net that's uh, the right sort of size for what I need. If you're going to buy one, then yours might be slightly different. So make sure you do measure the uh, back of your van and where you want your cargo net, um, depending on what cargo net you're going to purchase. I will put a link down in the description for the uh, for the one that I bought. Uh, so if you want to take a look at that, then uh, just use the link down below. So basically, all I've done is I've used the sort of um, retaining clips i don't know what you call them retaining nuts <laughs> retaining little knobby thing oh this is getting worse the little plastic things where you put a screw through and you screw it into the side of your van and uh, the little loop bungee loop on the cargo net just loops over the little uh, sort of peg and uh, holds your cargo net in place again your van may be slightly different so you may want to place them in a sort of strategic place so I put one of mine on the cupboard um, at a suitable height. Uh, I initially just stuck it on with the little sticky back pads that comes on the back of the plastic sort of pegs, but uh, it didn't hold under tension. So I just popped a little hole through uh, the cabinet, the cupboard, and I just put a bar. I could have screwed, put a screw in, but I thought if I put a little bolt in, uh, it's never going to come out. So uh, that's what I went with. So then I just put another peg on the opposite side at the same sort of height, just screwed it into the panelling uh, and the other two I've placed underneath the rock and roll bed, the little section at the end of the bed, um, just screwed them into a wooden base underneath, I've just screwed them in underneath. The bungee then just wraps over the side of the seat um, and uh, hooks into place. I can then loop the cargo net up and over, hook onto the top pegs and then stuff whatever I want to stuff behind there, whether it be duvets, pillows, bedding, anything you want really you could put clothes whatever you like if they're in them little sort of packing cubes um anything you like just to stop um and falling on the floor when you open the barn doors or your tailgate door really simple solution really cheap and dead easy to uh, fit into place um your van is going to be different so you may want to pop the uh, the pegs in different positions but uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory and works really well. So I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, then please do hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video. Okay, well, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.